Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Friday, and uh, welcome to my my morning. Um, I'm commuting in wonderful downtown Denver traffic. <clears throat> that is to say, I'm sitting here. Well, I'm actually moving at about five miles an hour down Spear Boulevard. Gotta love it. Um, I just thought I'd for this week. I would take some random video throughout the day and try to edit it into a cohesive, um, this is what my typical day is like. So uh, here's here's part number one, which is, you know, the, the, the wonderful, fantastic commute. Ah. Today, today it's not, normally my commute isn't this bad, but uh, I buy ethanol for my uh, car. Me, me being the hippie type that I am and wanting to save the planet and all that shiz. So I figured I'd waste gasoline to drive to the ethanol station. That That's brilliant. At any rate, that's the start of my day. Let's see what else I managed to stick on camera. Sorry about the vertical video. You're going to have to deal with a little bit of that today. I know, vertical video sucks. Just deal with it, space monkey. Well, I actually did make it to the gas station. You can see that. That says I have 47 miles of fuel range left. So, yeah. In other words, I don't have a lot of fuel. At any rate, here I am at the gas station getting, well, the ethanol, as I see previous, and a car wash. So, um, yeah took me 45 minutes to go essentially from one side of downtown to the other. I feel like I'm back in Los Angeles again. Okay, car wash time. Yay! I'm, I'm at the car wash. I have no idea if that, that looks decent. Uh, put in the code here. Hello? There we go. Please enter car wash. See if I can turn this around here. Yeah, the big challenge in some of these car washes is they have bumps getting in, and you never quite know exactly where you have to be. There I am, finally. And of course, I drive a, a, a heaping big car. I drive a Chevy Impala, for those of you who didn't know. And here we go, car wash. Yay, car wash. First, the spray foam stuff. Might want to put it in the park just so I don't slip. Mm, that stuff smells like bubble gum. soap may be harmed in this process. The last time I was here, I think it was out of soap. It wasn't a lot of foamy, bubbly stuff.
Well, that was it for the car wash. Unfortunately, the camera looks like it stopped about midway through, so I don't know how much of that I got. Probably didn't get any. So I'll have to do a little bit of editing. So, um, yeah, here I go. Off to uh, enjoy the rest of my commute to work. By, by the way, just to let you know, regular gas right now is $2.37 a gallon, and ethanol is $1.84 at this particular station. For those of you in Denver that want the price, that want the, uh, the skinny on the price, it's at the uh, Silco on Alameda and Broadway. Yay, there you go. Now you know the gas station I like to go to. So, I'm fueled up, I've got coffee, I've got the remainder of my commute to work, which is just from downtown to the tech center, and, um, yeah. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? If you guessed more traffic, you are absolutely 100% correct. You know, this is a little bit of a rant. I do not understand why Interstate 225 is always slow around Denver, around, uh, in Denver, around, what, University to Yale? That little section right there of the, the trench is always busy. It can be, like, late at night I've driven through here and there's been a traffic slow down here. Nothing like this, of course, but the traffic is always horrible right here. And it wouldn't be notable because God knows in Portland and Los Angeles and hey, San Francisco, in all three cities, there's little pockets that are always nasty. Um, the Hollywood Freeway going through my old neighborhood in uh, Eastern Hollywood being the prime example of a place that's always slow. But they just spent millions of dollars to reconstruct this area. I remember 10 years ago when they started this project and I was visiting Denver, how they completely ripped up this, this section of freeway. And of course now it's done and now it looks all nice and it's, it's a, it's a modern free, it's a modern freeway trench like you would expect in any other city with, you know, a light rail system on one side and, you know, modular concrete walls with some kind of art pattern on it. And it's still bumper to bumper traffic at 9.30 in the morning. And uh, mm, I don't understand, or maybe I do understand, but you spend millions of dollars to expand a freeway in an area that you know is a traffic problem. And it just stays a traffic problem. And it doesn't matter how many lanes you add to the freeway, it almost always in every city stays a traffic problem. And I don't, I, I have some ideas what the solution is and, and uh, you know, one of them is, well, we need to get people to stop driving. But um, yeah, it, it to me is a little nuts. And so anyway, that, that's my rant for this video. So, so you can, uh, I'll just shut up and drive, but every city I've ever been in has a pocket like this. It doesn't matter what city it is. Um, Minneapolis has one. I mean, I, I remember driving in one part of St. Paul where this seems to always happen. I mean, it, it, even Vegas, well, Vegas is one big traffic snarl anyway, just like LA. So I don't know what the hell I'm thinking there. But yeah, um, yeah, still stuck in traffic again and still going, well, I'm going about 10 miles an hour now, but at least I've got fuel. I can at least this time say that there actually is a problem over here at Yale. Looks like on the left-hand shoulder, there's some police activity I can see. I wonder if there's an accident. But uh, for once, the freeway's slow for an actual reason, which, which is a little different. Yeah, there's an accident of some kind. I see a DPD. Oh, yeah. A little recce poo. So, yeah. So, guess what? Now I'm speeding along. That was what that was about. <sighs> well, made it to work with three minutes to spare before my 10 o'clock meeting. So, uh, yeah. I was going to show a little bit around my work campus, but guess what? That's going to have to wait because we're late. We're very, very late for a very important date or something like that. <sighs> we'll see you in a bit. Lunchtime. 
Yay, walking to lunch. There are really pretty flowers around here. There's sometimes rabbits in these too. Um, although I don't see any bunnies today, but sometimes there's a bunny hopping around. But yeah, um, Tokyo Joe's for lunch. Um, and uh, back to work. It's gonna be a busy day for me. Good evening, everyone. Um, I took a nap and um, well, at the moment I'm in Liz's car and not mine because I left mine at work because I was planning on going back to work this evening um, around 10 or 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, life has thrown me a little curveball. For those of you who know uh, Matt, he is um, in need of some friendship right now. So I am getting in Liz's car and I'm going to drive to Charlie Brown's, which is a local restaurant here in Denver, and hang out with him and a bunch of friends, at least for a couple of hours before my maintenance. So, um, yeah, um, it is late in the evening and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm at the data center. The uh, maintenance is... Yeah, sorry about the darkness there. I was trying to keep it, keep lighting my face with the face, with the with the with the thing, with the with the thing. Yeah, I'm tired. Can you tell? Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm at the data center. It's one in the morning. Matt's more or less my day. Matt, my friend, is okay. Um, everything is going well. Uh, we are just waiting something to go wrong so we're kind of gonna sit in our car and take a short nap and um, hopefully nothing will go wrong in the next I don't know hour or two I try to get some sleep I'm gonna be here till 6 a.m. so uh, might as well make the best of it good night <laughs>